Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one we are going to be having a ton of fun, some conspiracy type stuff right now, so put on your tinfoil hats because we are going to be going over some changes to the meteor on the map as well as taking a look at some other things and trying to figure out where exactly Epic is going with these brand new changes to the map. Because as you guys know with the previous season, season 3, they had all this stuff added to the map and then we could like speculate on what it eventually meant and it eventually came to the superheroes that were added in season 4. So with that stuff being said, there are for sure changes being made to the map right now, and we're going to be going through a bunch of them as well as checking for some other ones and trying to come up with the exact reason that why things are being changed. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below, it really helps me out a ton. Every like encourages me to make more of these videos, and I really do appreciate it. Along with that, leave your comments down below about what you think of Dusty Divot. Do you like the Hop Rocks? Do you like the Meteor in the center of it? I'm curious what you guys have to say about that. But yeah, getting back into it, we're going to be looking at the Meteor changes, like a secret vending machine I found under the map as well as like the Wailing Woods bunker and also uh, some of the secret layers and see if we can find some stuff. So without further ado, let's jump on into game here and get into it. Alright guys, so here we are in game, ready to go and check out this meteor, check out the uh, thing hidden in Wailing Woods. We definitely have to get a game so we can get a replay and check out like what is exactly in both of those things. As well as a couple of other things, but uh, actually before we get into that, if you guys haven't noticed, there's a new solo showdown game mode, which is basically, I believe, Fortnite competitive. I'm not exactly sure how it works right now, they didn't give us a ton of details on it, but I'm pretty sure that it does put you against uh, like other players near your skill and there is going to be a leaderboard with stuff like uh, free V-Bucks for the top 100 players. In fact, I'll put up a picture right here of like the rankings, but that is going to be pretty crazy. So this is just like a test mode for competitive, but it will be uh, leading into some more official stuff. But either way, if you guys are super good, you could maybe get some free V-Bucks out of that. But yeah, we got to go into a game and probably just do like solo. And also the new stuff in the item shop. They brought back Love Ranger from Valentine's Day months ago. Come on, guys. We all know the only reason people buy that skin is for the wings on the back. Look at all these no skins and then the carbide and then this guy <laughs> so yeah we got to go to dusty divot because for sure stuff is changing on the map you guys have seen uh, a little bit in my previous video we talked about the thing in tilted towers and how they're paving over like the crater there but dusty divot is definitely changing so we have to drop there hopefully not a ton of people go there so we can actually just you know explore but let's drop down and get into it because along with that also they've just been they have been adding stuff i'm 100 percent sure that something is going on here similar to like the stuff in the end of season three, you know, like before the superheroes, they added all this crazy stuff like the meteor showing up, the meteors hitting the map, and you know, like also the TV showing up and stuff changing, stuff that like, you know, there's some story that they're trying to tell here. And I have got no loot right there, got a trap. We're not even gonna play this full game, but we do need to check out the meteor here. All right, so this guy over here, let's surprise him. He's gonna be looting. He's hiding behind that thing. Are you kidding me? Okay, that was... <laughs> you blew me up with something right there. Alright, is it is it peaceful now? Can we take a look at this meteor? And we are going to try and go inside of it in theater mode, but we got to check it out here. Like, look at that. There's something inside there. It's like a mechanical thing. There's like a, like a tube. It does look like a texture. I don't think there's... I don't know. Maybe there is something inside, but... Yeah, tube little metal piece like they were drilling into it there was a drill over here before um dude the destroyer over here decided to blow everything up but it's also it glows less i remember somebody saying that that it does glow less than it was at the beginning of the season and also they cover up the top so things are changing and also you can see more of like uh some tube or something something like metal going up like that there's something in here now you can see even more of it i think that might just be more of the rock something is in here oh no <laughs> something this guy is in here there we go. Headshot with the pump. Easy peasy. But yeah, let's get a replay and check out like the stuff in Wailing Woods as well. See if we can come up with some reason for that changing. Now I do want to see under the map in the replay and the way that you do that is going up against uh, like a hill or something, turning your back to it. And then when you go into your replay, you should be able to glitch through the map by switching through your uh, different cameras. And then to get the replay, Geronimo. Ow. So there we go. Should get our replay. Yep, right here. So yeah, got our replay ready to go. Let's see, what should we take a look at first? Actually, I do want to show you guys something funny, alright? I saw this uh, in a previous game and actually online a little bit. There's something funny that was just added to like some of the 
some of the cities. I believe there's one at Greasy Grove. So let's go over there. Is it here? No, it's not. Shoot. It might actually be Pleasant Park. Yeah, it is at Pleasant Park. I think I see it over there. Or, um, no, that's not it. Where did I see it last night? I'm so confused. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's over here either. Well, anyways, if I'm trying to find this, like, this new truck that was added. That was... Kind of had a joke about it. Where is it? There it is. Okay, it is in Retail Row. I don't know if it is in other towns, but um, yeah, this is where I saw it. If you go up to here, there's this brand new truck. As you can see, it says Fork Knife. Oh. Which obviously is referencing Fortnite, but um, with a fork and a knife. Dang you, epic. Freaking dad jokes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that'll be for a challenge in the future. You have to find like some of these new Fork Knife trucks. So let's go back. Before we get into uh, the Wailing Woods bunker and go inside of it see if something's new over there let's check the meteor here's the moment of truth is there anything inside of it right now no that's disappointing come on epic i thought there would at least be something well at least we can take a closer look at right here so something is changing that's definitely a mechanical piece and it seems to be like some sort of tube mechanical tube so i'm not sure it also has like similar colors to uh omega so maybe that does have something to do with omega and actually let's check out this super villain base and again guys this is just like trying to investigate find clues as to what is going to be happening maybe there will be like some sort of alien thing there was also that uh dinosaur print yeah the big dinosaur print it is next to a camera so maybe it is just like shooting set so it's not actually something coming to the game but that's interesting and then for the secret layer is anything changing over here i wonder if it has something to do with the rocket this has to do something something's gonna like launch with the rocket like they're gonna destroy another part of the map and i've also said this before something to do with these things because there is one at uh the mansion on the other side of the map as well i definitely would expect something to change eventually with this so that's kind of why we're looking at this so we can uh, remember what it looks like something is going to happen here but the other thing we needed to check out is the, the bunker has anything changed with the bunker? So does anything look different from the outside? Definitely not. It still looks like a freaking hole. But still, this just being here again has to do something with the changes to the meteor that we looked over. So I guess we can see if there's anything under it. I don't think there is going to be this time around, but still just to be sure. Let's go over to our character. Try and teleport under the map a little bit. So we'll go like right here. Go into third person. There we go. We're under the map. There we go. So that again is how you get under the map. So let's see. I don't think anything is going to be changed with the bunker. But again, similar to the uh, secret layer, the evil layer. I feel like something's going to be added to this in the next week or few weeks. So yeah, this is exactly what it looked like before. Again, there's nothing down there as of right now. Except uh, some mushrooms on the wall, which is kind of funny. But there's definitely going to be something soon. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I found a vending machine. <laughs> Under the map. What is this doing here? It's under near, um, Salty. Just a random vending machine just floating there. And it's a blue one. Oh, wait. 250 wood? That's not even right. So what is this? It's like a secret vending machine. That makes no sense. Plus, it's also a minigun. There's no blue rarity minigun. That is so random. I wonder if that's like a test for the vending machine. That's so random, though. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with the meteor, but that's still pretty funny. And then if we go back to the meteor... Oh, that's kind of... That's interesting. Look at how far under it goes. It goes a lot farther, actually. Is there anything in the bottom? No. <laughs> Unfortunately. But yeah, that is kind of interesting. They modeled the whole entire thing. Not just, like, the top half. Well, there you go. We're gonna have to keep track of that as well. But yeah, guys. Do you have any theories about why the meteor is changing? It definitely has something to do with the superheroes. Thinking maybe Omega. But then again, going towards the, uh, the loading screens that we've been getting for completing challenges. Omega seems to be, like already something that's in the game so i don't know why that would have anything to do with him unless he's gonna get like superpowers from it so i don't know do you guys have any suggestions or guesses definitely leave them down below in the comments what is this right here oh shoot i got stuck crap and you know what just to be sure let's check out the i think this is the superhero layer see if anything changed over here again they have the same thing as in the villains layer which means something actually you know what now that i think about it i'm pretty sure these things are actually for holograms because if you take a look at one of the recent loading screens that you got for completing the week three challenges all of the heroes are in the very center of this room looking at this hologram which i'm pretty sure is this random thing right in the center of the room so yeah that's a little bit of a mystery solved i guess it's not like something you put a big moon rock into and it creates like a black hole i don't know but who knows maybe there will be some way to like turn the hologram on and it'll show you like a secret area on the map like what 
What if it shows you the bunker in Wailing Woods? I could see something like that happening. They're definitely going to do something with this room. I mean, it's so big, they have to figure out something. So maybe it could be something along those lines. And also, you've got some stuff for carbide. Another helmet over there. So yeah, nothing changed over here. So that doesn't give us any clues yet. But something is going on. I think it's going to have something to do with maybe like an alien or some, you know, super monster coming from that thing over there. It is definitely metallic. Maybe it could be some like robotic type thing. Like, uh, maybe it's like a big boss that is going to be like a limited time mode that you can play as similar to Thanos or something like that. I don't know guys, but that's pretty much all the stuff we can check out in this update. We're definitely going to have to check back next update, but if you guys have ideas of what this could possibly be, leave them down below in the comments. Something is going on here. Something is happening in the game and it's going to be pretty huge. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Got more awesome stuff coming up soon. Or you can check out some of my previous videos such as on the left going through a bunch of secret changes in yesterday update such as new features and then on the right the full guide to the week three challenges but other than that guys hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one